In this video, I'd like to show you how you redirect your visitors to your mobile website when they're using a smartphone. So I've got some fancy graphics to make it easy. First of all, let's say this is your normal website. That is your website that people would view on their desktop. To go to that website, of course, they would type a domain name, and that domain name, when they visited in their browser, would take them to your website. You already know that part. That's simple. But now, you've got a mobile version of your website. Because a mobile version is an alternate website. So how do you get people to visit the mobile website? Well, first of all, you've got to store that mobile website somewhere, just like you did your normal website. And there's several different ways to do that. Some people store their mobile site on what's called a subdomain. So for example, you go to your hosting account and you create a subdomain. In this case, we've created one called M, and that way the address to the mobile site would be m.yourdomain.com. That means we're storing our mobile site inside a subdomain called M. Or you might just create a subfolder, and you would store your website in that folder on the same domain. That's another way to store your mobile website. Some people register a special domain name just for their mobile website, like a .mobi, your domain .mobi, and that would work too. Or maybe just a completely different domain, your mobile domain .com, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter where you store your mobile site. What matters is that we connect it to your normal website so that when people visit the domain you're storing it on, it'll take them to the mobile site. So for this demo, let's say you're using yourdomain.com forward slash mobile to store your, your mobile website so that when people go to this domain, it takes them to the right spot. Okay, fair enough. Now you've got two websites. Fine. But how do we connect them? Well, it's simple because all we're going to do is we're going to drop a special piece of script or code onto your normal website. That is your desktop version of your website. We call that script a redirect. And what this redirect does is it asks the question, is this a smartphone? In other words, when somebody's visiting yourdomain.com, your website is going to check and see if they're viewing it from a smartphone or not. And if the answer is no, and they're just viewing it like they normally would, it continues on to your normal website. Now, it doesn't take any time to do this. This happens in microseconds. But this little script is smart enough to detect how they're viewing your website. And if they're viewing it normally, they go to the normal website. But if the script detects that they are viewing your website from a smartphone, and the answer to that question is yes, then the script is smart enough to redirect the user to your mobile domain. So now when they visit yourdomain.com on a smartphone, they're taken to the mobile address, and they land on your mobile website. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now let's see how to do that. Okay, so now that you have an idea of what's supposed to happen, let's look at how to do it. It's very, very simple. Here, I've opened up a copy of my normal website. This is the website people will see when they find it from a desktop computer or a laptop. I've also got a mobile version of this website, which I'll show you just so you see what I mean. So as you can see, I made a mobile version of the same website. However, it's not the same website. Remember, technically, a mobile website is a completely different website than your normal one. We have two websites we're working with. But our redirect code is going to go on to our normal site. So let's go back to that. And here's how it works. In 90 Second Website Builder, there's a script that makes this very easy. It's inside the ready-to-use JavaScripts. You simply click on the ready-to-use JavaScripts and then drag a box anywhere. It doesn't matter because this code is going to be invisible. Up pops several options. What I'm looking for is the iPhone redirect. There's also an iPad redirect, by the way, if you've made an iPad-friendly version. In this case, we're working with, with an iPhone. This allows me to create a redirect when the user is visiting the site with an iPhone. So type in the actual address of the mobile site. Of course, you put your real mobile address in there. Click OK, and it's done. Now. This box, like I said, won't be seen when we publish. It's just part of the code. In fact, if we look at the HTML code of the page, you can see what 90 Second Website Builder did. The very bottom of the page, it puts some special code that redirects. And what it does is it's actually checking for an iPhone. OK, that was easy, right? But what if you want your redirect to be more universal than just iPhone? Because there are other smartphones out there. Well, you can do that too, and I'm going to show you how. There's a little piece of code, and that code actually appears under this video if you're watching it in the 90 Second Website Builder members only area. 
I put it there so you can easily copy and paste it into your project. Let me show you the code first. Here's what it looks like. It's a little piece of JavaScript code, very simple to use. All you'll need to do is select it, copy it, and then paste it into your project. What this code is doing is it's not just checking for iPhone, it's checking for any device that has a certain width, in fact, a width of less than 700. And when it detects such a device, it forwards your user onto your mobile site, whatever your mobile site address is. Of course, you'd put your real mobile address in here. That's the only thing you have to change. So where does the script go? Here's how it works. You're going to copy the script, and then you can paste it into the HTML very, very simply. Right click on the canvas, we go to page HTML, we want to put it in the head tag and paste it here. That's it. Remember to update this link and put your actual mobile address in there. When you're all done, click OK. And now you're done. Now every time somebody visits this site, once it's of course saved and published to the web, and they visit it from a smartphone, any phone, not just an iPhone, it'll redirect them to the mobile version of the website. So again, that special JavaScript code I just showed you appears under this video. So you can copy and paste it and use it in your project as well.